F-35 stealth fighters have been flying combat missions in the Middle East for years now, though largely in permissive airspace against lower-level targets. The jet's recent victory against Iran's air defenses, however, highlights its ability to combat higher-level threats. The F-35, at the heart of the operation, deserves a closer look. Officially known as the Joint Strike Fighter, it is a fifth-generation multi-role aircraft capable of carrying up to 18,000 pounds of munitions, including precision-guided bombs like the GBU-31 JDAM. Its advanced sensor suite, including the AN-APG-81 radar and electro-optical targeting system, allows it to detect and engage targets with minimal exposure. Compared to Iran's air defense systems, the F-35 represents a generational leap. For instance, Russia's S-400, considered one of the world's most advanced air defense systems, struggles to detect stealth aircraft at long ranges, a challenge likely mirrored by Iran's less sophisticated Bavar 373. The F-35's ability to operate in contested airspace, combined with Israel's expertise in integrating it with electronic warfare, made it an ideal platform for such a high-stakes mission. The F-35 Lightning II is a technological marvel, renowned for its advanced stealth capabilities that make it a formidable force in modern warfare. Its design features a combination of low observability, advanced radar-absorbing materials, and a sleek, angular shape that allows it to avoid detection by traditional radar systems. This gives the F-35 a significant edge when penetrating enemy airspace. In addition to stealth, the F-35 is equipped with an array of sensors and avionics systems that provide exceptional situational awareness, enabling it to detect, track, and engage targets at long ranges. Iran's air defense systems are not to be underestimated. Over the years, Iran has invested heavily in both foreign and domestic air defense technologies, making it a formidable challenge for any stealth aircraft. One of the key components of Iran's air defense is the Russian-made S-300 system, which is designed to engage aircraft at extended ranges. With its powerful radar and missile capabilities, the S-300 can track and target stealth aircraft, although its effectiveness is still debated when it comes to engaging highly advanced stealth platforms like the F-35. In a potential conflict, the F-35 would not likely operate in isolation. The U.S. would likely deploy a range of assets to support the mission, including F-16 multi-role fighters, a-10 Thunderbolt II attack aircraft, and B-2 stealth bombers. These platforms could provide a combination of air superiority, close air support, and precision strike capabilities, complementing the F-35 strengths. Electronic warfare, EW, capabilities would play a critical role in disrupting Iran's radar and communication systems. A real-world mission would require intricate planning, accounting for numerous variables such as weather conditions, terrain, and intelligence on Iranian air defense capabilities. The terrain in Iran, characterized by mountainous regions, could present additional challenges or opportunities for evading radar detection and exploiting weaknesses in the air defense network. The exact composition of the U.S. strike force, the timing of the mission, and the integration of various military assets would all factor into the outcome. While there are no simple answers, it's clear that the F-35's combination of advanced stealth, situational awareness, and cutting-edge avionics gives it a considerable advantage. However, Iran's robust air defense network, particularly the S-300 and Bavar 373 systems, would not make the task easy. The success of the F-35 in such a scenario would likely depend on the coordination of various assets, the support of electronic warfare, and the strategies used to exploit gaps in Iran's radar coverage. The suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses through penetrating strikes, that is the kind of higher-level mission for which the jet was made. While Iran's air defenses present a challenge, the F-35's stealth and sensor fusion capabilities could give it an edge. The outcome would depend on factors like coordination of U.S. assets, effectiveness of electronic warfare operations, and strategies employed in real-time combat. The F-35 has been built to perform in environments like this, but Iran's air defense systems are no pushovers. The F-35 has historically been used against weaker targets with either limited or non-existent air defenses. Israeli F-35s have previously battled Syrian surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft batteries and engaged in strikes on Iranian targets, but the expensive fighter jet has largely been employed against non-state actors like ISIS, the Taliban, and the Houthis.
Israel's recent operation against Iran, which fielded very capable Russian-made surface-to-air missile systems, emphasizes how the jet is capable of engaging in combat at a higher level. Mark Gunzinger, a retired U.S. Air Force colonel who flew the B-52 Stratofortress bomber, told Business Insider that without the F-35, it would have probably been a far more risky mission. The F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter is an advanced single-engine, multi-role strike stealth fighter jet made by American defense contractor Lockheed Martin. Multiple variants of the aircraft are in use by several countries, including Israel. Michael Bonert, a licensed engineer at the RAND Corporation, said that the F-35 was designed to replace existing fighter jets like the F-117, F-16, and F-A-18 with increased stealth, ISR, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and other capabilities. Israel, which operates a sub-variant of the F-35A model designed for Air Force operations, was the first to fly the fighter jet in combat in 2018. The U.S. military has since used it in missions across the Middle East. The F-35 fighter faced probably its most daring operation in late October, when Israel struck Iran in response to Tehran's huge missile attack at the start of the month. Israel used more than 100 aircraft, carrying fewer than 100 munitions, and with no aircraft getting within 100 miles of the target in the first wave. And that took down nearly the entirety of Iran's air defense system, said Admiral Tony Radikin, the UK's chief of defense staff. Radikin, speaking in London at a December 4th lecture hosted by the Royal United Services Institute, said Israel demonstrated the power of jet and the disproportionate advantage of modern ways of fighting in its strikes against Iran. His remarks appeared to mark the first confirmation from a Western government that Israel used the fifth-generation aircraft in the strikes. It was reported shortly after the operation that Israel flew its F-35s and fired air-launched ballistic missiles. Radikin's praise of the F-35 came after Elon Musk criticized the jet and dismissed its stealth capabilities. The aircraft is the Pentagon's most expensive weapons program, but it is widely considered a key warfighting capability for U.S. allies and partners. The F-35 is not just a fighter jet, it also acts as a bomber with penetrating ISR capabilities, a battle space command and control platform, and an electronic warfare aircraft. The F-35's capabilities are not a theory. They're a reality, said Gunzinger, the Director of Future Concepts and Capability Assessments at the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies. And now, they're proven in combat against Russian-imported S-300 surface-to-air missile batteries that have been touted as the answer to stealth. In the aftermath of the strikes on Iran, an Israeli security official told B.I. that the hits accurately targeted Iran's radar and air defense systems, putting the country at a disadvantage. While the F-35 demonstrated its combat prowess against Iran, the jet would face a tougher fight in a conflict between Western powers and Russia or China, which field more advanced air defense systems and have their own fifth-generation aircraft. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.